Здравствуйте. Я буду разговаривать по-английски. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My, my name is Daria Zmitowska, and I have recently graduated from Medical University in Krakow. Uh, together with my family, we are using uh, iridotherapy and acupuncture um, in treating our patients. And today my aim is to present you a work about treating presiopia. Uh, this is age-related disease which leads to decreasing of eyesight. Uh, usually it started around uh, in people which are around 14. Mm -hmm. And this disease is um, caused by um, when accommodation is lost or it becomes insufficient. And accordingly to the recent studies, it's a global problem. And due to this problem, more than 1 billion people worldwide are suffering. And due to the um, increasing age of the whole population, uh, especially in developed countries, it's more and more relevant. So, what's happening when presiopia occurs? People are complaining about seeing a nearby object less clearly, and usually they are noticing symptoms while reading. Um, especially when they have diabetes or additional disease, cardiovascular disease or multiple sclerosis, they may develop presbyopia younger, for example, at the age of 30 or 35. And there is no difference between men and women when it comes to the beginning of presbyopia, even though some studies are showing that it's starting earlier uh, in women. So, what's going on? This is a healthy eye uh, when we are young and our accommodation is doing well. Uh, as you can see in distant vision, uh, muscles here are relaxed and the light is going straight to macula. And we are, when we are trying to read a text, this is near vision, our muscles contract, then the lens is changing its shape and still the light can fall to the macula. And with age, that possibility of changing the shape of our lens uh, is becoming weaker, so it's not, it's not becoming round, and the light falls behind the macula, so the text is blurry. And there are many ways to correct it. Usually we can correct it, it with, either with glasses or with lenses. But here you can see that the object is blurry for people with presbyopia. Uh, so what are the main complaints of the patients? They are complaining about blurred vision, eye, eye strain, visual fatigue or headaches. So in general, their quality of life is worsening. But not all of it. Here you have some risk factors. Uh, I think you can find them online. Of course, as we already mentioned, age hyperopia, other diseases of the eyes, um, that was taken from the studies which shown that in female is more prominent, some systemic disease. So if you are more interested into that topic, you can check it out later on. Um, and there are some ways to compensate it. Uh, usually doctors are, are offering their patients glasses or lenses. Uh, the other possibility is a surgical intervention or site correction. But um, some people, especially young people, they are not willing to start wearing glasses because uh, it's, for example, lenses they are quite expensive, you have to buy them once a month. So they want to postpone this moment or even avoid it. And then we can try to help them with a cure the term. So the <coughs> aim of our studies was to determine if herodotherapy is effective as a tool for presbyopia treatment. We took a group of 30 people, majority of them were female. Uh, they were in between 40 and 50 years old. Here you have the mean age, it was 42. Uh, and then we measured their score with Snellen test. That's the test when a patient is supposed to read the letters and we are giving him text. So, um, all of them were performing not that good. And then we offered them a protocol. It was 10 treatments once a week. And then we made few treatments once a month. 
And on each session, we were using four to six leeches, which we were placing off on specific areas that I will mention farther on. And after six months, we checked their eyesight with Snellen test again, and we measured the result. A patient who underwent uh, ocular surgery were excluded from our work. So as it comes to place of application, we need to improve uh, circular, um, circulatory around the eye, microcirculation. So we want to choose places that are, some places that are local and some places that are distal uh, in order to improve this area. So the first place when we are applying uh, leeches is mastoid process due to the fact that arteries and veins that go to the eye area, they are all going through that area behind the ear. The second place is temporal region because here you can see that there are some main nodules that are closer to the eye. So the lymph system, the work of lymph system may be improved by this area. And the third place where we are applying um, bleach is actually umbilicus because accordingly to Chinese medicine, the organ that is, um, that is in charge of eyesight is liver. And here you can see there is that ligamentum teres, which is formed, here you can see it's like when we were fetus. We can see that there was an umbilical vein that was going straight from the umbilicus to the liver. And later on, it was changed to the, to the ligament. So from our point of view, when we are applying leech on the umbilical, we can, we can uh, bring the blood or improve the circulation of the liver. And that's supposed to improve the eyesight. So here they're written again, temporal region, mastoid process, and umbilicus. Uh, the starting point for the patient, mm, their distant vision was very good. They could see normally from 90% to 1. And in the Snellen test, they obtained results 0.75 to, to 125. So you can see that some of them could read those letters and the other that one. Of course, the letters that you can see on the screen, it's not the regular size. So, you know, it's, it's much harder to read it here. And all of the patients uh, had bilateral complaints, so both eyes were impaired. And uh, in order to correct their vision, they needed either glasses or progressive lenses, but they were not willing to wear it. After the first treatment, uh, five patients reported sub significant subjective improvement uh, that correlated with the result of Snellen test. And later on, that improvement was observed in six other patients after the second treatment and in four patients after the third. As the time goes by and the study was finished, we checked 27 patients. Uh, some people fell off the test, they didn't come to checkups. And 90% uh, obtained uh, that score that, uh, that is considered to be normal, 0 0.5 in Snellen test. And they didn't have difficulties while uh, reading or working in the computer. So there was no need for them to prescribe lenses. And only three patients out of whole groups needed to start wearing glasses. So that's very good result. And what's our conclusion out of it? That a sight improvement when it's treated with therapy, that changes gradual and it takes time. So it's not enough to see patients once, it's the whole protocol, and we need a few months to change the eyesight. And uh, here the therapy according to the protocol that we are suggesting turned out to be a promising method in patients with presbyopia. We need to continue this study further on to check for how long the improvement will stay, so uh, we need to make bigger studies further on. And basically that's it.